Welcome to Jack Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what is proxy in SQL Server. And in this video, we'll be learning what exactly is SQL Server proxy. And we'll be uh, talking about a little bit um, a definition of proxy and what is credential. Credential is mandatory to create proxy. Uh, that's a prerequisite of creating proxy. And number three, wh when do we need to use SQL Server proxy? I have a scenario right here. So we're, we're going to go through this scenario. Let's say that in your organization you have two domains, domain one and domain two. And one server is on uh, domain one, that is server one. And on domain two, there is another server, domain, uh, um, domain two, server two. And user on uh, server one is domain one, user one. And uh, domain two has another user, um, user two. So in this example, in this scenario, we'll be t talking about SSIS package running SSIS package so uh, up here this server has SSIS services installed so all this uh, SSIS packages are going to run on this server and now in SSIS if you have any experience with SSIS package you define um, connection strings to connect to different SQL servers so one of the con uh, uh, connection string basically connects to this SQL server and it needs to grab the data from this SQL server, which resides in domain two. And uh, the user uh, that basically go in SQL server uh, in SQL server two right here is user two. Now this user two it does not exist on domain one user one, but your package runs on SQL server one domain one. So how can you? Uh, basically run the package because you will run the package under user one whenever the package will run it's going to go ahead and grab the data from server two and as soon as it'll go up here it's gonna fail this server is going to tell you that oh domain one user one does not exist in this server so I'm not going to give you any data so that's when we basically create a proxy account Proxy account basically in by definition it is to access the ex external resources uh, such as databases um, and other SQL Server external resources uh, using different credential and credential would be the external credential. So you wanted to make that particular user as a local user just right here you wanted to give this user this credential, credential of this user, and you want that this user should be able to run the package and as soon as it goes and grab the data, it becomes uh, domain two, user two. So basically this is all there is to it for the proxy account, and this is why we use proxy account. The main reason behind we're using the proxy account in this scenario is that we don't want to create domain one user one on this server we don't want to do that we want to just keep the um, everything on um, you know as far as user permissions uh, existed on uh, domain one server one and whenever we need to go grab the data we will use proxy account which means that this guy right here the user two will go on SQL server two and grab the data and the package the the job will be still running under this user so that way we don't need to create domain one user one on this server and we will keep this isolation and use SQL server proxy so up here as I said the connect to domain two domain two user two can only access the databases just we talked about and then we will create the proxy on domain one so let me show you real quick where proxy is and where the credential is and then in another demo we'll be going through all proxy how to create um, all kind of proxies SQL CMD SSIS um, uh, package configuration proxy and uh, analysis services pro um, uh, proxy all those kind of proxies will be using um, you know in this suite so let me show you real quick this is my SQL server right here and if you notice if you expand security you will see the credentials right here these credential needs to be created before you can use proxies in order to see where proxy is you need to expand SQL server agent and go to the proxies right here as you can see right here how many proxies are we have ActiveX script if we wanted to run ActiveX script which is 
on this external server, which is not local to the SQL server, but we do want to run the job on this particular SQL server, which is SQL server prod. This SQL server agent will be running that job, but this job will connect and use ActiveX script that will run on SQL Server 2, let's say this is SQL Server 2, and it's in different domain, then we would like to basically create proxy of ActiveX script. Same with operating system. Uh, if you have a command line, um, a bad job that you would like to run through command line, you can use operating system command line exec proxy. Replication distribution, merge, queue, this, these are the replication proxies. And same thing that if uh, replication will run, all the jobs will run on the primary server, but on secondary server, um, this, this primary server user does not exist, but we can create a proxy account and use that proxy account to run all the jobs on secondary server. Same with analysis services command. If you wanted to run analysis services command and queries, we can use analysis services command and query proxies. SSIS package execution, just like we talked about in our scenario, we will be creating SSIS package execution um, and we'll see that how it goes in there and connect to secondary, connect to external SQL Server, which is uh, using uh, the user, do domain to user 2. PowerShell, if you wanted to run PowerShell uh, script on sec sec secondary, on um, uh, external server, I keep se saying secondary, but um, external server, external domain, then we need to create PowerShell proxy. And there are some unassigned proxies. These are the user defined proxies. You can, uh, beside if you wanted to create a proxy beside these default proxies, you can use unassigned proxy and get your uh, job done. So basically, that's it for, as far as uh, what is proxy in SQL Server. We went through exactly what is proxy server and credential. We need to create credential and when we go through the demo of creating credential and creating proxy, you will see that what we mean by creating credential. This is prerequisite of creating proxy. Credential needs to be existed before you can create SQL Server proxy. And same with the, um, when do we need to use proxy? We went through this scenario and this scenario clarifies, I hope that it clarifies that when we need to use proxy because a lot of folks ask me that when exactly do we need to use proxy accounts. I hope this video helps to clarify that.